Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because as you can tell from the title, this is an unboxing on the Louis Vuitton Neverfull BB. Now the Neverfull BB was released about two weeks ago and you guys know how I feel about the Neverfull in general. For me, that bag is like the end all be all, the goat of all totes. So when I first heard about them releasing the BB and I saw the first pictures, I was immediately hooked. I was immediately intrigued, even though there are a couple of features on the bag that I'm not too keen on. So there is some hesitation there, and I'm sure you're probably thinking, if there's any hesitation, why the hell did you buy the bag? I know, I know, I know what you're thinking, I know. But again, you guys know how I feel about the Neverfull. So it's a little baby Neverfull. It's like, how can I not check this out, right? Uh, now I have avoided social media like the plague when it comes to this bag, whether it's on YouTube, on Reels or what have you. Anytime I see it pop up, I immediately log off because I wanted to discover it for the first time myself, kind of like if I was to go into the boutique. So I don't really know what to expect when it comes to this bag. I mean, I've seen pictures on the website. Besides that, I don't really know, you know, how I'm gonna feel about it once it's in my hot little hands. Are those features going to sway me to not keep the bag or am I gonna keep it and uh, I don't know, you know? So this is a true unboxing and I have to forewarn you because you guys know I suck when it comes to true unboxings because I'm all over the place. But anyways, let's get into it because that was the longest intro ever. So uh, here it is. I have not opened it up. We're going to open it up together. Uh, when I did open or take it out of the shipping box, it came with this, which is the book number 16. I have not received a the book from Louis Vuitton in years. So this was a really nice surprise uh, because I used to collect them. I think the last one that I got was, I want to say maybe 10 no, maybe eight. I don't know. But this was uh, this was really nice. So that was pretty cool. So here is my receipt. And here we go. Here's the box. I'm kind of nervous. All right. <laughs> I'm like super nervous because again, I don't know what to expect. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So there's the box opens up likes, what is this? Perfumes, they inserted perfumes. Okay, that's pretty cool, but question for you, with as hot as it has been, why would you include perfumes in the box with the bag? What if this spilled, right? Is that just me? Would you guys feel the same way? Oh, Pacific Chill, is that what this is? Yes, Pacific chill, chill, chill. So, I mean, that was really nice. I'll open that up later. So perfumes inside of this. All right, here we go. Let me set this aside. Here it is in the dust bag that says Louis Vuitton. And shut up, dude. This is so, okay, upon, upon first taking it out, Come on, this is ridiculously cute. Like, it's a little baby never full. This is adorable. I love the fact that it doesn't come with a pre-treated leather because I like the leather to have the natural patina process. So I, I absolutely love that. Sorry, there's a, there's a glare or there's a sunlight coming through here. So I'm gonna try to bring it up as close as I possibly can. It says Louis Vuitton Paris. Let me take a gander at, what is this? This wasn't on the pictures on the website. All right, so, so far it looks pretty good. It does have quite a bit of wrinkling on the handles there, but that doesn't, that doesn't bother me. This is, just upon first looking at it, come on. It's, it's so tiny, it's so freaking cute. I mean, this is adorable. All right, so let's, let's peep it out. Okay, there is the removable coin purse that it comes with. There we go. I like that these open up a little bit wider than the regular coin uh, round coin purse. All right. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> the guitar strap. If you guys have been watching me 
for a while, you know how I feel about these guitar straps. I think they are heinous. I think they are hideous. Like, I don't know why they would add these to the bags. I think this should be a, an option for you to buy later on or what have you. So this is one of the features that I was talking about. The fact that it does come with this strap. Uh, if I mean, it's pretty thick. It's a lot thicker than any other, uh, than the strap that came with the multi-pochette. So that's really nice. But yeah, I'm not, it feels really heavy, really wide. Uh, yeah, I'm not too I'm not too fond of that. All right, but let's let's get into the bag. Okay, so in here, the care book or not the care booklet, the Made in USA, Neverfull BB monogram beige. Oh my god, this is so freaking cute! Like I can't, <laughs> I can't. It is pretty spacious. I mean, the whole, uh, okay, let, let's, let's just address something really quickly. The whole point of it being called the Neverfull was the fact that it didn't have a zipper, right? So that way you can load up the bag and keep loading up the bag and what have you. The fact that this has a zipper, I think kind of defeats the purpose of the name. Um, I mean, I get that it has the silhouette. It doesn't have the little strings that the Neverfull is known for either, but it has a zipper. So I don't think that it really, I don't know. It sh I think it should be called, it, I think it should have been called something else, but so it does have a little slip pocket. This little pocket moves around. This is, <laughs> this is adorable. It's absolutely adorable. Now this tab, can this wiener thing be like, this was, okay, this wasn't on the picture on the website because this, I mean, this wasn't popping out like this. I don't remember. Can you stick this? thing in here. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to mess with it unless I know for sure if I'm going to keep it or not. But it has a smooth zipper. I really do like that. So it's it's super, super cute. Um, but yeah, these guys. So this strap on this bag, if I was to keep it, like I said, I don't know. I haven't decided just yet. Uh, no, that is a hard, hard no. It's, this strap is way too big. Plus, I think this weighs more than the actual bag. So for me personally, uh, I would end up using either a chain uh, or I would use it like a skinny um, leather strap because I think that would be a better fit for this bag. I think that would have been I mean, a better way to go. And don't get me wrong, those straps, I understand that they're very comfortable and you can use them for extended periods of time, but I just feel like this is something that you should be able to buy separately and that the bag should come with a leather strap or a chain strap, something a little bit skinnier, something a little bit smaller, uh, especially for the price point that this is. Now that's another thing, um, 1900 bucks, all right? 1900 bucks for a little baby Neverfull. Uh, is it ridiculous? Yeah, it's ridiculous. So the fact that this I can actually use as a bag, um, I like that, you know, and I can still fit everything I, ha I can in here. I'm hoping anyways. So we'll see how that works out. But so far, I, I do I do like it. I really do like it. I don't like that strap. And this is way too big, right? Like why? That looks that looks stupid. I don't, I'm sorry. It does. Like for me anyways, I think it looks stupid because it's almost as big as the bag. Not really, but you know what I'm saying? Like it looks kind of, it looks kind of weird. No, I wouldn't use this, this D ring for anything. I would use that inside of the bag, but this guy, I'm what I really am curious if I can stick this wiener thing right? Cause it sticks out. It kind of, can you, can you put it inside of the bag? You have to be able to, right? Cause there's a little, there's a little, uh, gap in there. So you have to be able to put that in there. If not, I don't know. That's, that's kind of weird. And if I do, it's going to crease the gonna crease the crap out of this. You know what? I actually just got off the phone with Louis Vuitton because I wanted to ask about this tab. So the tab is on like the third picture on the website, but on the first two pictures, it's not on there. And I asked if you can tuck this guy in and they said yes. So that's what we're gonna do because I think this will be a thousand times better without this, without this tab sticking out. 
<laughs> I was just scared, you know what I mean? All right. There's the tab. The tab is no more. <laughs> that is a thousand times better because I'll be honest, I was like, yeah, no, I can't have that thing sticking out and just kind of flailing in the wind like that. I don't like that at all. So you can tuck it in and you're, you are still able to zip it closed. Uh, so yeah, that is a major, major win for me, at least in my opinion. I like that because now, now it looks like a never full. Uh, of course I wouldn't end up zipping it closed. It would just be open because yeah, so I have decided to keep this bag mid-unboxing. Uh, I think it's fabulous. And yeah, it comes with the guitar strap, but at least it is removable. And that way I can incorporate other straps within my collection with this bag that I think will look a lot better. And uh, the little coin pouch, I don't see myself ever using it on the bag. I think it looks weird, but I can use it in the bag and I can also use it with other handbags as well. So I, I think that this, <laughs> this is adorable. And yeah, it's small, but it's also a functional bag. Like for me, it's a functional bag. It's not this itty bitty thing that fits just a little baby Tic Tac or anything like that either. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Okay, so a couple things. Uh, I asked you guys on my community tab, what are some things that you guys wanted to see when it came to this bag for me to incorporate? That way you have a better idea of it, especially if you haven't had a chance to go into the boutique and check it out for yourselves. Uh, so some of you guys asked for strap options. What are some different strap options that you can use with this? So I will include those. I will also include mod shots and I'll include a mod shot with a guitar strap as well so you guys have a better idea. Uh, I will also include size comparisons with other bags and what's, you know, what you can actually fit in this. And some of you guys also asked if this, if this fits more than the Speedy 20. Unfortunately, I don't have the Speedy 20. I have the Nano Speedy and right off the bat, I can tell you that it's, it's definitely going to fit, um, more than the Nano Speedy. Uh, but you guys also want to see a few other SLGs uh, if they end up fitting in here. So I will talk about everything. I know I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but like I said, when it comes to tour unboxings, I am a mess. Like <laughs> it's all over the place. So let's get into the different strap options. And as I talk about them, I will include the mod shots as well. So you guys already saw the guitar strap. So I will include a mod shot with that. And I do like that the guitar strap does have the adjustment, so it's not like a whole one size fits all. So that's uh, that's really nice. I had someone ask if the Speedy Bandolier strap would look funky on this or not. So I have the Speedy 25 Bandolier strap on here. I think that this would also look a lot better than the guitar strap because it's not as thick, and you also have a lot more options as far as the uh, you know the measurement that you have for this. If you want it a little bit longer, if you want it a little bit shorter, so I don't think that this looks ridiculous. It looks a little bit funky because this has quite a bit of patina versus this. So that's what it would look like. And again, I will insert a quick mod shot. Okay. Now my preferred way of how I would use this bag, I would actually use it as a hand carry bag or as a little, you know, whatever. But this strap right here, this is from the Pochette Felici. So it is a whole one size fits all. But what I really like about the chain strap is that I feel that it really helps to make the bag sing a little bit louder because it doesn't overwhelm the bag. Look at this. This looks a thousand times better. Like why couldn't Louis Vuitton do this? Like the guitar strap enough is enough. They need to stop with the guitar straps and they need to stop with the luggage tags too. Like every bag that comes out has a luggage tag as well. But anyways, that's an opinion for a different, <laughs> for a different video. But I mean, this looks a thousand times better, right? Again, because it doesn't overwhelm the bag. I think that it complements it uh, and it really makes the bag itself sing because with that guitar strap, I think it's so thick that you're more focused on the strap than you are with the bag. I mean, that's the way that I see it anyways, but I like this a lot better, a lot, a lot better. You guys wanted to know how it would look or how it would fit, if it would fit a full size wallet. So I have the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet in here. Let's see. No, <laughs> it is not going to fit a full size wallet. Yeah, no. 
even if you were to fit it, no, it won't, it won't fit. No, that's, that's a given. That won't fit at all. So you definitely have to go for the more, I mean, you don't have to go for something like itty bitty either when it comes to a wallet. Um, I think that if you wanna maximize your space with this bag, uh, it'd be better to go for the more compact SLGs or even a flat card holder, but full size wallets unfortunately will not fit. I also had someone ask if an Agenda MM will end up fitting in here. All right, let's, let's peep this out. It fits. But because it kind of tapers, there's a lot of dead space right here. And I mean, that's, that's all you're gonna be carrying. That's all you're gonna carry is the Agenda MM. So uh, I don't think that looks, I don't, I don't, that's, yeah, that's not gonna work. I also had someone ask if you can fit a full size water bottle in here. So that's what it looks like with a water bottle, it looks really weird. <laughs> I think like the little baby water bottles would be a lot better, but you still have quite a bit of space there. But standing up, and if I was to lay it down, it's too wide. It's too wide, again, because it kind of tapers this way. So the full size water bottle wouldn't be the best. Okay, so now I'm gonna answer a clip of what I think I would end up carrying in here. I think, as I said before, going for the more compact SLGs, a flat card holder, or even like the, the Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse, I think that would be a lot better to fit in here. It does have a little bit more give just because of the style that it has. It's not a very structured bag. So I, I believe that you'd be able to get away with a little bit more than say maybe the Alma BB. The Alma BB fits quite a bit as well, but I think you might be able to fit a little bit more in here. Again, just because of the shape that it has. Uh, okay, so now let me insert, or let me do a, quip, a couple of of, uh, quick size comparisons. So here is the Neverfull BB and the Neverfull MM, just to give you a better idea. Dude, this can be like a bag charm for the Neverfull uh, MM. Look at that. That, <laughs> that is so freaking cute. Okay, now the Alma. Here they are side by side. I think that they're gonna be pretty similar, to be honest. So there's that guy, let's see. I have the Nano Speedy, again, because I don't have the Speedy 20. Okay, let's see. The Micro Matisse. <laughs> you can fit this in here like no problem. And you still have space for other stuff in there, you know? So again, just to give you a better idea and let's do the Palm Springs Mini. Obviously this guy's gonna fit a lot more, I think. All right, and let's do the Speedy 25. Again, just for size comparison, I know some of these might seem a little ridiculous, but just in case you have any of these other bags, you have a better idea as to the size of this little guy. So now let's do a full on like bag tour, if you will, because I know I didn't show everything up, uh, up close, but there is the front side, there is the side view, the back view, another side view. And then on the inside, and the fact that you do have the little slip pocket here that says Louis Vuitton, and the zipper closure. I'm not going to untuck the bag because that guy's there to stay. Like, I'm not messing with it. It could stay there for, <laughs> for the rest of eternity as far as I'm concerned. There we go. So there's the bag. Let me bring up the strap. It feels kind of clunky. Hold on, hold on. Now obviously you do have the hardware that says Louis Vuitton. Here we go. I know someone said that they were going to be releasing the Neverfull with the pink interior. Um, 
I mean, I think that would be cute as well. I personally like the beige because with the beige, I don't have to worry about any type of color transfer because sometimes with those really bright uh, colored interiors, they can end up uh, causing color transfer with your lighter SLGs. But there is the round coin purse once more. There we go. All right, final thoughts, final thoughts. $1,900 for the Neverfull BB, is it worth it? It is worth it to me and how I would end up incorporating this bag into my collection and into my lifestyle. It's very casual, so it's right up my alley. I also like that I can change out the strap that it comes with. That way I can make it a little bit more me and make it a little bit more user-friendly for myself. At the same time, I gotta be honest with you, I am not blind to the fact that for 1900 bucks, I have to, uh, let's say I didn't have the Pochette Felici. If I wanted to use a different chain or if I wanted to use a different strap, I would have to dump more money into the bag to, again, make it a little bit more user-friendly. Now, I've done that with other bags, uh, but still, it's something that I am not completely just blind to, like, oh yeah, it's perfect the way that it is. No, because it's perfect for me with some slight alterations that I would do for it. So, I don't think that the $1,900 price point is the stupidest thing I've ever heard uh, because I, I mean, I've spent money on other things that I can only use one way or another. We all know what those are. Uh, but this, the fact that I can use it as an actual bag and it can fit more than just one little thing, more than one little thing makes me very, very happy. I also think that this would be a fantastic travel bag because of the zipper. Now, even though myself, I am not crazy about the zipper because I think that it defeats the purpose of the name, it does make it a lot more secure. So if you wanted to use it as a travel bag, this would be perfect because it's not too heavy. You still have quite a bit of space in here and you can use a crossbody strap be it a chain or a leather strap so you have a little bit more play you have more options with the bag uh, I just I mean I think it's absolutely adorable and no it's not because I love Neverfulls because obviously I can point out the flaws that it has uh, kind of like this little d-ring here adding the the coin pouch to it looks absolutely ridiculous I would never do it because I think that also ends up overwhelming the bag um, I think maybe a bag charm on here would be cute for me personally I wouldn't do anything just because I want it to be very simple uh, and yeah, I just, I don't see myself using this at all. Who knows? I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But I think a keychain or a little bag charm would look cute on this. Uh, nothing too big. Nothing that would overwhelm the bag. Again, because you want this to be the main focus of the bag itself, not the accessories that go with it, at least in my opinion. Now, if they released this bag in Damien Azor, I would be all over the, I mean, I would absolutely line up for that bag because I love Damien Azor. The Neverfull Damien Azor is like, that is my end all be all Neverfull. So to have it in like a little baby version, I think would be great. But yeah, this bag is, is spacious. It's not stupid small. It has a somewhat of a ridiculous price point, especially if you think of the fact that, what is it, like two or $300 more and you can get a full size Neverfull. That's, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But if you want something smaller with a secure... In, I mean, with security, um, I think I think that this is I think that this is pretty cool. I really do. I honestly, wholeheartedly feel that way. And the <laughs> the natural leather, I am so excited about it because I love once again the patina, the natural patina process that it has. Uh, and then it'll get that honey golden color, and I think it would look absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. But um, yeah, I think it's adorable. I think it should have a different name <laughs> uh, because it is very similar to a Neverfull. But I know one of the things that people have always talked about with the Neverfull is the fact that it doesn't come with a zipper. I've, I've heard so many people say that that bag would be perfect if it came with a zipper. So now they have this, of course it's a lot smaller. And it makes me wonder, it makes me wonder if this is, go if this is gonna be as popular as I think it might be if Louis Vuitton would consider adding the zipper to the regular size Neverfull in the future. 
that's always a possibility. I don't know. That just, there's something that's kind of in my gut that's saying that that's what they might do. I, I mean, that's just speculation, obviously. Uh, but it does make me wonder. But with this bag, <laughs> whether it's like a, uh, whether it was a joke that Louis Vuitton played to see how many people would, uh, would end up purchasing it, they saw me coming a million miles away. A million miles away. Like, no doubt in my mind. Uh, and even though it had those things that I wasn't too fond of, uh, ultimately the, the, the shape of it. And again, this guy that I can tuck it in was like, yeah, a hundred percent. We're keeping this bad boy. So I love it. I absolutely love it. And I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it is definitely mine. And, um, yeah, I just, I think it's cute. <laughs> I think it's super cute. And if they did release it in that, even if they released it in Damien Ben, can you imagine how fabulous that would be? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, that does it for this video. And my apologies if it was all over the place. You guys know how I am when it comes to true unboxings. I feel like I'm not really, you know, doesn't have this nice flow. Uh, but I just wanted to share my my honest opinion with you, my, my initial reaction when, you know, when I unboxed it. And, um, yeah, so <laughs> I am very stoked to say the least, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.